Well, hello, my name is Jeff Cordwell. I provide ACCA APM courses on the internet and you can find me on jeffcordwell.com. And I wanted today to share with you, um, I think what the number one reason for failure is in ACCA APM, as distinct, if you like, from any other ACCA high level paper. And I think the number one reason why people fail this particular paper is they fail to answer the question. You might think that's obvious, but in financial accounting type topics, you know, if I ask you to prepare a consolidated balance sheet, there is no chance of you doing something different. In tax, if I ask you to prepare a tax computation, there is no chance of you doing something different. That's what you're going to do, isn't it? You're going to prepare a tax computation, tax liability. But in APM, the questions are more subtle than that. And I might ask you something that can be answered in your mind any number of different ways. And that's where you go wrong. So I'll give you an example. I've just completed my mock exam marking. OK, and I provided loads and loads and loads of feedback. And one of the questions was about looking at the corporate mission and saying whether the performance measurement system was suitable. It's a very common exam question. So if I just give an extract of that so you understand what I'm talking about. Supposing the mission of the business was to grow. And supposing the performance measurement system, one of the measures was they measured gross profit. And your job is to tell me whether that performance measurement system is appropriate, is suitable for the objective of growth. And if you do that, if you talk about that, then you'll score marks. But it's very easy to not do that and do something slightly different, but yet feel that you're making relevant, technically accurate points that score. So, for example, you might say, well, look, gross profit is always available. The data is available. So that makes it a good measurement. And that's true. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not relevant to the question. So it doesn't score. It doesn't matter whether the information is relevant or not. The question is, does it help you grow the business? It's obviously important that the information is available. Of course it is. But does it ask, does it answer the question? And I don't think it does. Or you might say, as a disadvantage of GP, that you shouldn't really just be measuring the, the absolute number. You should be measuring the percentage. And that's also true. That's a technically competent comment. But it's not answering the question. The question is, does that particular performance measurement help you manage the business into growth and achieve its mission? And it doesn't. So you can sit there in the APM exam writing what you think are sensible, technically competent, accurate comments and just not score. And that's why APM is difficult. And that's why you need people like me to, to point that out for you. So my advice on ACCA APM for next week, because the exam is close, isn't it? Is when you sit down for that exam, read the requirement. If, you, if it's an embedded requirement, that's more difficult. Go and find the requirement and read it and then read it again and then read it again and make absolutely sure you know what you're being asked. And make absolutely sure that every point that you write down, yeah, is answering that question. OK, not demonstrating your knowledge of gross profit in my little example. Yeah, And if you do that, I promise you, if you do that, I promise you that the marks that you're used to getting will go up significantly because you'll be answering the question and the markers will love you for it. Because let me tell you, when you're marking ACCA APM, you have to wade through a load of technically accurate, competent comments that are just not quite answering the question. And if you answer the question in this exam, yeah, then you'll score.